Well, good morning, everybody. It is first thing in the morning on January 1st. So I hope you and your families all have a happy new year. We just got done taking care of the critters. I restocked the wood stove. And as you can see behind me and around me, uh, we had some snow last night and it's actually coming down a little bit more right now. So I thought I would share a few options that I've used in the past on how I remove snow from my panels because, you know, I've got, I've got some ground mounts, but now with this coop, I've got a lot of uh, roof arrays now. And they're starting to clear themselves a little bit right now, but not all of them. And I really need to capture as much power as possible because it's, it's bright outside. I'm having to squint. We're getting that reflective light. And so I want to try and capture that as much as I possibly can. So let me show you a few different ways that you could remove some snow. And I'll show you what I finally landed on as a great ground or roof array solution. So let's get started. So from the ground array perspective, I mean, really you could use whatever you want. In the past, I've used just a push broom, walk around and you just kind of scrape it all off. Push broom actually helps get some of this sticky stuff at the bottom, as long as it's not frozen. But if you use that push broom for anything else, now you're leaving little pieces of dirt and, and stuff all on your panels. And so now it's actually all gritty. And you kind of want to keep your panels clean. But it works. If it's a light fluffy snow, I've used one of these in the past. And again, it's got to be a, a fluffy snow. If you catch it early, you know, you could probably use one of these and, and it would blow off pretty fast. But I ended up seeing on the DIY solar forum, I want to say it was Tim's electric. Uh, Tim's got a vast amount of knowledge uh, and a huge solar system at his home. But I want to say it was him. And he talked about a snow broom. I'm like, all right, well, it's a snow broom. So I looked on Amazon and it's basically just a, <laughs> here are all the dogs. It's almost like a foam squeegee. It's got a little bit of a lip along the edge and then a spot for you to thread in a pole. It comes with, I want to say about a five foot pole that you could use. And you can make it shorter or longer. I guess it's actually designed for like removing snow from cars. And I've tried it on my car. You see the truck right there. It lets me reach on the bed of the truck and pull everything off. So that's kind of nice. But it's, it's kind of a firm foam. So it's not going to scratch. And it's going to let it go over any bumps or seams that you might have. And so I have been using this on my ground arrays just to keep them clean. And you can get a little bit of force with it. For some of that sticky stuff. And it works really well. I mean, the, the thick, hard foam really does help get a lot of that bottom edge that wants to transition from snow to ice. And it, it does help to break that up without damaging the panel. And plus, it's easier to, easy to store. And so the ground arrays, I mean, yes, they're, they're easy to clean. But what about the roof arrays? Because 
you really don't want to be climbing up on the roof if you can avoid it to clean all that snow off. And while some of this is sloughing off over here on the coop, you can see over on the barn, it's, it's not doing anything right now. So in years past, I have just used a snow rake and it works well, but I never really liked the, the hard plastic edge of the snow rake scraping on the panels. And I would still not be able to reach everything from the ground. So I'd have to pull out a ladder, get on the top of the ladder, and then try and reach all the way to the edge to pull stuff off. And that worked. But like I said, I didn't like the hard plastic scraping down on the panels. And the other problem that I would have is these UFO bolts right here, they stick up above the panel. And so every time you try to clean and you come up to one of those bolts, it would either catch and stop or catch and jump. And you would have a hard time clearing wherever those UFO bolts are. So I really wanted to see if there was some way that I could not have to use the ladder and still reach up to the top sections of the barn and now the coop and get the snow cleared. And I really liked just how that snow broom had that soft edge and that could really glide over top of the panels without potentially scratching them. I mean, I haven't had any problems with the snow rake scratching it in the past, but it, I just didn't like it. So I thought, well, I just need to get an extension pole and screw that extension pole onto my snow broom. So I ended up buying, I believe it is a six foot to 24 foot extension pole from Vivor. I got it on Amazon. And I'll put links down in the description below for these different items, if they can be of benefit to you. But all I have to do is unscrew off of the pole that comes with the snow broom. And this is probably a painter's pole, but it'll work for my needs. So now I can use this six foot section on all the ground mounts, and then I can extend it out and get all the way to the roof without having to use the ladder for my roof arrays. So I'll just extend this all the way. I don't think I need to for this array, but it does make it a little bit easier. 24 feet. Oh, I see why this wasn't melting. It's got a little layer of ice on it. not too bad. And I have found out that while the snow rake does a better job at getting some of that harder stuff off, if you take the snow broom and you turn it on its short side, that actually does give you the ability to get a little more aggressive on getting some of those layers of ice or, or slushy buildup off the panels. But yeah, no more having to climb up the ladder. <laughs> and the thing with climbing up the ladder is when I had to climb up for using that snow rake, you're having to pull all that snow towards you because the ladder is, has to be so close to the edge of the roof. So all that snow has to come off. So you're just hammering yourself with snow as it's coming off the roof. 
and depending on how good your ladder is or how poor your ladder is, um, you may be playing a game of dominoes with your ladder and you on top of it. So staying on the ground just makes things a whole lot simpler for me. So now I'll go through, take care of the snow on the coop, and then I'll finish up with the arrays on the ground. And I really don't need the full 24 feet for this. So we can shorten it down and clean it up. So just something I thought I would share with you guys. I know that there's quite a few of you that live in snowy climates that might have to deal with this as well on both your ground and your roof mounts. So I'm curious, what do you guys use to clear your panels? For those of you that deal with snow, I know there's gonna be some of you that say, you know, if you see snow, the world's ending because, you know, it's 80 degrees and sunny all year round or something like that. <laughs> so yeah, for those of you that have snow, what do you use? Do you have a ground mount? Do you have a roof mount? Uh, what have you found has, has worked well for you uh, in, in having to clear your panels. For me, using the snow broom and then the, the six to 24 foot extension pole, I've used it this season. I've used it, you know, for the few snows that we've had and it, it just works really well for me. And due to the foam on the snow broom, I don't have to worry about anything getting scratched. And even on those days that it's you know, got a layer of ice on the panels. It still helps get that top layer of snow off to where the sun can hopefully start to melt that layer of ice. So again, I'll leave links in the description below. I hope you and your family have a very happy new year. And with that, I will let y'all go. Y'all stay safe, stay warm, and I'll catch up with you later. Boy, you come inside for an hour and welcome to Michigan, folks. More snow comes down, just covers up everything that you just cleaned off. But that's all right. It's still beautiful to see coming down. Nice big flakes, snow-covered trees.